All right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun Moon and as well rising, a business and uh, career tower reading, uh, weekly tower reading that is, for a February 10th to February 16, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested into a uh, personal reading with me or um, you know you want to check out uh, your love and relationship tower reading for the week, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find both links, one to my website and the other to the uh, love and relationship tarot reading of you guys. So, uh, first card for business and career, which is the very topic of uh, the week, is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is the energies, which are supporting the situation here. We do have uh, the uh, Nine of Wands. Followed by the other one, which is the challenges that you uh, have to overcome here, Aries. That is going to be uh, the um, moon card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy here, guys. And that is to be quite of an amazing week for you in terms of business and career. That will be the justice card as the gift and blessings. Followed by the next one, which is how you are going to stand in front of others. What kind of an impression you are going to engrave into your co-workers, into your boss, into your uh, supervisor, etc., etc. That is to be the Queen of Wands. And the final one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Aries, in terms of business and career for the week. We do have the Seven of Pentacles. All right. So, um, that week as marked by those uh, just one second here by those two cards uh, let me let me try to find the right words so it stands like this you are going to be you are going to have enough of being neglected and of being um underestimated okay it is like not giving the appreciation you deserve not giving not not to be given as well the, the rewards that you deserve, etc., etc., and therefore those energies that we do have for the week here, it is where you are going to, like said, having enough, and uh, whatever um, opening for you is to be presented for throughout the week to find a job or to uh, how can I say it, to jump into project or you know to prove yourself capable to prove yeah yourself capable in front of others you are to jump into it it's just these energies are going to uh, put you in a state where you are always going to be ready to act and react especially if there are a um, villains uh, into your career that uh, want to see you down and to bring you down. Unfortunately for them, it doesn't look like that they are to succeed. And where this is leading to what? So we do have the topic here of the of the Knight of Cups, and this is you, Aries, uh, and how you are to perform for throughout this week in term of uh, in term of career. So, uh, Knight of Cups, excuse me, not Pentacles. So. Uh, in terms of career, how does the Knights of Cups stand? Well, that is, first of all, a person who firmly believes the results are not to be gifted, the results are not to be, uh, how can I say it, inherit, but the results are to be conquered and the results are to be achieved. So this week, you are to uh, roll up your sleeves and instead of talking about what you deserve and how you deserve it and etc etc and what kind of an appreciation you deserve um you just jump into action and win it for yourself so the position the promotion does not belong to your co-worker because uh you know uh because of a uh, a heritage here but it belongs to the one who takes it. And for that reason, you will have to stand up and just, you know, do your best so you can take it. So that is the good thing about the week for you, Aries. You can get the job you want based on your a uh, personal performance, based, based on your resume, for example, based on your portfolio and etc. etc. You can get the project you want same um, for the same reason. So only if you don't slack and only if you show what kind what you are capable of in reality and 
you should not put any kind of an excuse that you have been obstructed, that you uh, have been messed around with and so on and so forth. Those excuses are not going to go by. It's just nobody wants to listen to that. So no excuses, but a uh, hard work It is what is going to produce a, uh, a result for you throughout the week. Another thing here, it is uh, that you are going to attend to your... Um, tasks and to your endeavors and generally with the toward and an opportunities of a new job with an um, abnormal sense of a uh, of knowledge okay it is like you will want to penetrate even deeper into the meaning and into the root the cause of the problem you gotta solve of uh, the client that you want to impress and etc etc and that is going to make you quite a very valuable asset to the company that you're working for and to the um to the clients that you want to win as well so um in general with those uh, two cards in terms of a career for you aries it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of a uh, tough week like I said uh because you have a lot to do and you have a lot to prove can you do it well most definitely you can it's just you know you gotta be ready to jump a few moments before anybody else is doing so so overthinking it as well it is not something you want either so we do have the challenges that you will need to stand here and that is the moon card so moon card as a challenge it does point to um feeling unsafe feeling insecure in terms of career and business uh, and the main reason for that is you know okay so you're gonna do your best here toward what end however now that is not going to be promised to you and this is where the challenge resides so uh, you make a, a very exceptional moves towards success of the project that is not going to be promised to you okay it's going to be decided based on your performance here you move toward a promotion that is not going to be promised to you as well so it's not like that is going to be say your boss approaches you and, uh, uh, and is telling you that if you a uh, kind of like a win that client he's going to promote you all right or if you uh, solve this problem he's gonna raise your salary no the, your boss is just going to demand on you solve that problem you know win that client and so on and so forth no promises whatsoever and this is what is gonna knock you off because you will feel that you do deserve appreciation you know that you feel that you deserve more in generally which is not going to be promised to you therefore that is to be the challenge to do the best that you can despite that there is no promises on the table and uh, for that reason you will have to as well overcome that sense of uh, of insecurity because it's gonna look like from a side that is more like an ultimatum than a uh, an opportunity for expanding career-wise in a term of that you know if you don't do it you are going to be fired instead of that if you do it you are going to be promoted but with the moon card here as well the circumstances are just forming it is always like that with the moon card so um it's it's a time of chaos and it's kind of likely that not just only you but also your colleagues are gonna feel lost they're gonna they're going to feel that like they are not at their place and in those times of chaos it is where you have to shine you know the biggest fish it's it can be cut can be caught uh, caught excuse me in murky waters and you are now throughout this week in a uh, environment of a murky waters and you gotta catch your big fish in there so next one is going to be the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. Now that is going to be just this and highly correlates with the first couple of cards here, guys. Everybody gets what they deserve. And therefore, um, as a gift, you are going to have that acute awareness how to structure your priorities, how to um, align your tasks in a, in a string or in a... Um, in a plan moving forward so you can ex exceptionally perform in all of them not just only in one but in all of them and the only thing that is to deprive you from success throughout this week from to uh, impress your boss from to uh, win the job that you want you know or from to be into the project that you want it is your own laziness if you are lazy although I know Aries is and you are the last thing you are guys are lazy people but again 
it's uh, it's just it will require from you to uh, give the best out and then the results are gonna come to you additionally to that as a gift and blessing you are gonna have an astute discernment what works what works it and what it doesn't worth it all right or what it doesn't worth your time and what worth your time and that furthermore is going to contribute to managing your time better uh, literally this uh, just this card is all about that here the gifts and the blessings that you're gonna have the gift to manage your time exceptionally amongst you know the tasks and the responsibilities you have to attend to for throughout the week and that is going to produce on its own accord a, a significantly better results than you are seeing at uh, before beforehand i mean before that week now another thing as well it is that as a gift and blessing it is promised to you from the universe not from your boss that you are going to get what you deserve right so if you perform well even though your boss does not offer you or does not promises you a promotion or a raise uh, they are going to feel obliged at the end of the endeavor to give you something in return to appreciate your efforts for it now how people are going to see you here now this is the queen of cups and uh, queen of cups in term of uh, career and business it's about a um, a long-term vision in the sense of that people are seeing you how you are toiling you know over your responsibilities and over your tasks before be, uh, uh, not before but uh, without excuse me without raising your voice about anything additional and about um, uh, uh, without complaining okay and that itself is going to make a, a serious impression especially into your boss into your supervisor that you are someone whom they can place great hopes at okay and also you're not giving an impression here that you are letting go of your current job you are maybe considering it or letting go of the current business you're working for you may be considering it but it is just this is going to be a secret your own personal secret nobody is going to suspect you for it and also people are going to find you um, I mean your co-workers are going to find you trustworthy so you may expect that throughout the week you are to be shared some rumors for example and uh, secrets about the company itself or about things that are a uh, happening into the company and the last one it is the uh, guidance that Taro is offering that we do have the seven of pentacles and here as a guidance the card says that the decisive things that you are waiting for so you can have your sprawling into career are yet to happen and for that reason um, the seven of pentacles always comes as a, a warning of, of guidance as a, a warning not to be biased of what is to happen from now on say you know you are giving the best out of yourself and you are not facing currently the appreciation you think you deserve and therefore you are biased that you are never gonna have it into the company that you're working for remember with this card the decisive events are yet to happen and for that reason you gotta be uh how can i say it quite calculative again how you how you uh, manage your time and which projects and which endeavors you are jumping into some of them with this card does not worth your time and luckily for you as a gifts and blessings you are gonna have that discernment to make a difference what worth your time and what doesn't what is going to produce benefits what is going to produce product uh, not products but um, results and what is not and that way it does look like that you're gonna navigate your further career advance flawlessly Aries so that being said guys this was your weekly uh, career and business tarot reading for Aries um, February 10th to February 16 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're gonna see each other next time until then bye